Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl the Realtor Divine Feminine here. How you guys are doing? I pray that all is well with each and every one of you guys. I come with a quick little message for you guys. My message to you guys is this right here. There is a Caucasian female that has paid someone to harm you. You're an African American female. She has paid someone to harm you. Don't be alarmed, though. The man that she has paid to harm you has went to the authorities and turned in all the evidence. She has paid a, a man, this man a lot of money to harm you. I, I, I want you to hear me out. I don't know if you're dealing with this man, had dealings with this man, or this man likes you. You might have never even met this man before in life. But this woman has so much a hate for you. She calls you a black bee. She calls you a nigga. She do all the rest of this stuff. And she pays somebody to harm you. Plot twist, though. Plot twist right here is this right here. When I tell you, this man loves you this man is so in love with you this man wants to be with you and everything this woman is completely out of her rockers when i tell you she's so jealous envious of you till it's a shame like i don't know where she's watching you at but she's watching you she's looking at your picture she's looking at you saying she hates you she has been this lady literally have try to do all kind of stuff because she doesn't like that you're pretty she doesn't like like she call you ghetto because of the way you talk she says all kind of vicious and hateful things for you but this is what i want to tell you baby always be you i don't care who don't like you never be fake and phony never be somebody that you not but always be your true, authentic self. You see, in this world right here, they're going to have a lot of people that don't like you. They're going to have a lot of people that shoot you and talk about you. You see, but when them people be bold enough to tell you what they got to tell you, that's when you worry. You don't have nothing to worry about because whoever this is is a coward. And, and a stanky coward at that girl. Child, look, Girl is so focused on you. Girl, could, look, listen to this. Tune out the can smell better than her. <laughs> and that's just, that's just period. But she's so high struck on you, calling you ugly, calling you this and that. But, but listen, let me blow your mind with this. Doesn't spend all that goddamn man money trying to get the titties like you, the butt like you, get a nose like you, trying to get all this like you. This girl want to be you so bad it, 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 it's, She's watching how you move your body. She doing all this, baby, trying to copy you or whatever, baby. It, it's not working. It's not working, baby. Look, he might be over there with her. I don't know. But all I know is he miserable. All I know is he love you. You heard me? You could take that to the bank and I promise you that check ain't gonna cash. This man love you wholeheartedly from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, baby. I don't know who you are and I don't know who this message is for. But all I know is that this Caucasian woman she don't like you. And I hope whoever it is I don't know if she watched my channel or what it is and I hope she do watch it and I got a message to you, baby. Listen. This is not 1930. You could play if you want to. Your skin color ain't getting you no damn privilege. Ain't no, we ain't sparing nobody. We ain't sparing nobody. When I say we, I mean, I'm speaking for every black person. We're not sparing nobody. Just because you're, just because you're Caucasian don't give you no advantage over nobody. Okay? Over nobody. And baby, let me tell you something. You can't make nobody want you or love you. Yeah, this person might be with you. I don't know. And I really don't care. But all I do know is that you tried to pay somebody to harm this person. You said to throw acid in this person's face. You told him to set this person's house on fire. You done told this man all kind of stuff. And this man has went to the authorities with this information. Your ass is going down. Your ass is going down. Because it makes no sense for you to try to keep 
a man. You can't keep nothing that don't want to be kept, baby. So I suggest you go get the help that you need that because you are an attention seeker. You want attention back. You do all kind of stuff. And, and, and this is another thing. You throw up this girl's name. You constantly bring her up saying she ugly, saying she did she can't be all she can't be too ugly because your man in love with her. <laughs> she can't be too that because your man want her. And you mad because your man don't want want her. So my message to you. Tread lightly on that black B word. Tread very, very lightly on that. Because let me tell you something. You see, that that that's what gets your jaw wide, stuff like that. That's what gets your jaw wide where you feeling like you could disrespect somebody. Or because you feel like you better than somebody or something like this. Like I said, I don't know who that message is for. But that's one message that I had got. So I want to put this out here. That a Caucasian female. Or the, girl, look, listen, let me tell you about this here. Child, she even went go put silicone in her butt to try to make her butt big. It's just, it's just horrible. It's a sad case. Wop-sided breasts and everything. But anyways, listen. Like I said, whoever this Caucasian female is, she's intimidated by you. Your black is so beautiful, baby. I want to tell you that you are so beautiful. She's intimidated by that because this man is in love with you. So she talks about you like a dog. When I say drag your name, try to drag your name, drag your body, but she has to go pay for a body. Yours is natural. She paid to get something that you already got. <laughs> so I'm just confused about the whole situation and why she mad or why she was stooped that low to lose her freedom for a man that don't want her. Baby, let it go because what's for you going to come to you. But it'll never come to you if you're holding on to something that's no longer for you. But it's your girl, The Real True Divine Feminine. Please like, share, and subscribe. I don't know who that message is for, but I hope. It reach whoever it needs to reach. If it ain't for you, share it with your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your grandpa, whoever. Cause I don't know who going through this. It might be the girl at the store. Let the girl at the store know about it. Peace.